is hardly nice to meet you, can I tell you, baby? I looked around, there's a whole lot of pretty ladies, but none like you, you shine so bright. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And I was wondering if you and me could spend a minute on the floor up close, getting lost in it. I won't give up without a fight. Cause I just wanna, ooh, ooh, yeah, be. I just want you to dance with me tonight. Hey guys, it's Tracy Bear in the Young Hollywood studio, and I am with Ollie Murs. Oh, that's like a little English like accent there. I just that was want to nice. be like, hello, Ollie. Hello, how are you? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> oh, that wasn't, that's not too bad of an English. It's got a bit of an Australian twang to it, though. Heavy in the crowd, uh, loosen up and let your hands go downtown. Uh, go with it, girl. Yeah, just close your eyes. So, speaking of, I mean, UK in general, you are. I mean, you literally are the biggest you well, know, male know artist I, superstar I, in the UK I, right now. I mean, I, I don't am like. Know. I don't know if I. I am. just want to be like. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, there's, there's a few of us over there. To be fair, I mean, um, you know, Ed Sheeran, of course, and yes. Calvin Harris, are big stars. There's, there's a few male artists, but yeah, I'm one. I'm one of. A, I'm one of a of a breed of good ones over there. I think. What well, is, I mean, what do you have to do differently? Unfortunately, you get this massive benchmark because One Direction are like the biggest thing. And obviously everyone, you You're know. You're tight with one day. Yeah, no, definitely. Them. Don't know, they get on really well with the guys. But like, obviously, there's such a big benchmark and everyone's like, you can do the same as One Direction. I'm like, well, no, I don't think I'm going to do as big as them. I mean, they've they've pretty much smashed it everywhere. But um, I just want to do well. I mean, Troublemaker was a big hit here. I'm really pleased with how well that did. And, um, you know, I just Everyone really knows like, Troublemaker. It's, you know, you had Flo uh, Rida on, yeah. on the track. Flo was and... great. It, was, it worked so well. And I'm, ple I'm so pleased it did well. Be hooked again from the minute you sat down. The way you bite your lip got my head spinning around. After a drink or two, I was putty in your hands. I don't know if I have the strength to stand. Oh, oh, trouble, trouble maker, that's your middle name. Oh, oh, see, I know you're no good, but you're stuck in my brain. And I wanna know why does it feel so good, but hurt so bad. Come on, uh, my mind keeps saying run it. Best as you can, a troublemaker. So you just performed an amazing, amazing. I love when you perform because you're just like you're an, you're an entertainer. I mean that is well, sort of like what you do. Well, I like having a good time. Did. I think um, you know I'm always I'm always I think my music's always a bit feel good music and it's just like you know hopefully get people smiling and having a good day and so you know that's kind of my, my vibe. That's what I like to do and obviously I like whatever however I'm feeling I want people to feel that. So dance me tonight. It's that kind of song really. Although I should change the lyrics I to twerk like with me. I should change it to twerk with me tonight. You, you said twerk in the middle of the song. We did. And I, we we did caught it. it. I was like, did he just say? No, twerk? we. Cause it's like, I just want you to twerk with me tonight. Uh, yeah. I just want people to get my album and, you know, especially when people come to your tours, that's the most important thing. Like, when I go to watch a show, if it's the same thing all the way through, it gets a bit boring. And I feel like, you know, you know, even if you look at some of the stuff that Beyonce does, like she mixes it up so much. Like she'll go from like an R&B song to like something completely different. And she, you know, and Rihanna's the same. And yeah. you know, even like part of like Michael Jackson and people like that, they change it all the time. So it's about evolving. And I feel like that's when you go to a tour, you want to see like all these different sort of sounds and, and being able to do it. And that's kind of what I try and do. And I know one of your you know, besides obviously, I know a lot of your idols, like Justin Timberlake is a good example. Love Justin Timberlake. Yeah, because he. He's I mean, been on this couch. He has. He has sat right where <laughs> you're sitting. <laughs> he's sat where I am. Um, no, he's, he's someone that I admire a lot. I think um, he's the first guy that went and watched the, his first tour in 2003, I think it was 2002. And, and now you have your own job. sold out headline tour, and you just toured with Robbie Williams, right? Yeah, we just, I've, I've done, I did my own tour this year, then I went out with Robbie on, on he did a stadium tour, which I've never done before, so. We went out and did the whole European thing. It was great. It was it was brilliant. It was so much fun. And you know, performing in front of eighty thousand people most nights was was pretty special. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a special treat for you today. I'm gonna call my friend Ali up here to to sing to you, ladies. Ali, let's go, man. My name is Ali. Nice to meet you. Can I tell you, baby? about you know because you you know you started on the X Factor in the yeah. UK 
And, you know, how do you feel like that experience just sort of, I mean, now that you watch other contestants on the show, you know, both UK and the US, and just sort of how it's they... It's a crazy experience. Like, I've just, I've, I've just gone back and judged, like a guest judge on the oh, show. Oh, nice. So I've just been guest judging that's it. That's crazy. And that's crazy <laughs> because, you know, four or five years, I mean, Simon's just popped up on your screen with oh you. Oh, my God. Um, but I did, Simon can hear us. He can, he just popped up. I mean, like, but five, <laughs> four or five years ago, I was obviously a contestant. And so to go around in full circle and... Obviously, I worked on there as a I was on there as a contestant, and I also worked as a as a presenter on the show as well. And obviously, now I'm back as a guest judge. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. It was it was a good experience, but to it, you know, it was a great you know, the X Factor has been brilliant towards you know for me. It's given me the most amazing life, an amazing job, and you know, I've I've, I've managed to I get to travel the world and of course come to America. So yeah, it's been great. Yeah, when I saw you there. Gotta check out Ali Moore's, he is amazing, and oh my god, what is happening in the studio what? right now? <laughs> what the hell? Um, this is, this is sort of how, yeah, I'm like this really like bad. the young Hollywood mascot. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? So what just happened is real. That was so unplanned, like we really just are like actually shocked right now. I think. <laughs> I just want you to dance with me tonight.